you asked about Mandalos for Architecture and Central. I understand where this question is coming from because we are given a list of stakeholders in the precinct information and we are clearly mentioned some of the key stakeholders. Use this as a guide. This is chapter four of study hubs, study text, and this should be 4.2.4. There's an example of a football club. You cannot apply this as it is because some things are different. For example, here we see that players are in the low power, high interest group. But from the pre-scene, we know that actually top players and top sponsors are a key resource for competitive advantage and they have power. This being a professional level exam, this being strategic business leader, you know that you will be asked more complex questions. What does it mean? It means that just applying Mandalov and saying who has power and who doesn't have power, who are the key players here is not going to bring many marks. Like it will be minimal in the best case. What you're going to be asked is stakeholder management. How are you going to manage your stakeholders, especially those in the high power, high interest quadrant, when their interests are conflicting? You have more than one key player, more than one stakeholder group with high power and high interest, and those interests do not align. They're conflicting. The leadership, good leadership, is actually being able to manage that. 